morning. The other day I was dreaming about when I get FSD, if I get FSD beta. And what I want to do is create like three or four different tracks, if you will, of places I want to drive once I get FSD beta and make them the same. Uh, each one with a different challenging aspect and that way I can drive them and find out the progress as FSD progresses. And one of the things I have noticed while using FSD, what the heck are these people doing? Anyway, one of the things I noticed while using auto steer and uh, traffic and cruise control, traffic aware cruise control, is that it's not very good at judging uh, suggested speeds for taking corners. For example, we have a lot of roads out here that are 50 miles an hour, and you'll see a suggested speed limit sign of say 35. And it's not real good at that. I think because I'm a programmer, I tend to think about these things, but the way I would handle that is one of two ways. I'd either use GPS and figure out the angle of the turn, and then it'd be a simple equation to determine what sort of entry speed you would need to go into the turn to have a comfortable G lateral G loading as you go around the turn. Um, the other way of doing that is just to read the suggested speed signs and then add 10 miles an hour to it. And that's what I personally do when I drive. If I see a sign that says, you know, the, you need to be going 25 around this corner, I'll add 10 miles to it and do it at 35. And that has seemed to work. So I picked a run that has a lot of those suggested speed limit drops in it. I think the speed limit's 45, but since I drive five over, it's usually 50. And there are lots of turns in there where um, you have a 20, you actually start with a 15 mile an hour speed, and I think then you go down 40 and then 25. I don't remember. But I know of an area where it has a lot of those turns, and it's also a very pretty drive. It's along the lake. So that's going to be one of the areas that when I get FSD, I'm going to do routinely. And so I thought I'd take it out there and see how auto steer and cruise control handles it. And I wasn't, uh, I wasn't expecting much because it doesn't do those, like I said, those suggested turns very well. But as you'll see, during the first three turns of this drive, it took it to 10 miles over the suggested speed limit and kept it there. And I thought, oh my gosh, this latest version has nailed it. Um, it didn't continue, as you'll see. And by the way, this is something that uh, Tesla says auto steer is not meant to do. If you read the manual, auto steer is for access control highways, which in our neck of the woods essentially means freeways where you have on ramps and off ramps. What confuses me is FSD beta is talking about auto steer on city streets. Well, there are a whole lot of streets that aren't in the city that also aren't on the freeway. In fact, the vast majority of the roads. So there seems to be a gap in coverage here. Um, I'm assuming FSD beta will cover those. I won't know until I get it though. So I need to show you a couple things. One is there are some very severe warnings here and you need to take them seriously. Whenever you do auto steer or even cruise control on a road that has a lot of curves in it, you need to be right on it because it will sometimes disengage, sometimes it will hug and hug to the point of almost crossing the center line on right turns when you have oncoming traffic, and that is incredibly uncomfortable. Um, so you really need to be on it. The other thing, it wasn't meant for this, so don't judge it by this. And I'll, I also want to let people know that even though I'm gonna be pointing out the flaws of auto steer, and cruise control. I am totally blown away by this software and Tesla has such a far lead in this life-saving software that it's almost laughable. I've included a clip here showing the blue cruise trying to take a gentle left turn on a freeway with an access control freeway so you don't have to worry about people cutting in front of you and making left turns and all this it's it's about the simplest situation you can get and blue cruise had this gentle left turn and it couldn't make it. 
Okay, hi boys and girls. Um, we're standing outside of a, uh, a Mustang Mach-E. We're gonna be doing a, a Ford Blue Cruise, which is their ADAS system. So uh, let me jump in and I happen to be in the right-hand lane. <clears throat> I would normally, whoops. Yeah, so down. this this is a, a bit of a sharp curve. This one and the next one, it's going to, uh, to keep you safe. So folks, even though I'm pointing um, out the flaws of uh, Tesla software here, I'm blown away by this stuff. And I only point it out in the hopes that it'll get to Tesla somehow. And if they're not already aware of these situations, they'll work on it. Uh, in no way am I demeaning Tesla for tackling this challenge. What they've done so far is spectacular. And so without further ado, let's do the drive. This is our first turn. Normally I come into it at 50 miles an hour, but I didn't have enough room because I would let some cars go ahead of me to actually get up to 50, but I do get up to 46. And look at how well it handles these first three turns. It adds 10 to the suggested speed limit sign and just holds that speed throughout the turn. It blew me away actually. Well, what do you know? just fine. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a 25 and it's going 50. too fast for that. I may have been freaking out there and disengaged. I don't know. That guy was almost over the center line. This is 35. Why is it accelerating? Well, it's doing it. Not comfortable, but it's doing it. Yes, saw those guys. Trying to or at least slow down for them. Well, it disengaged there. I don't think it was me. This is 30. It's going to hit it at 50. It's going slower, 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 slower. Whoa! It's not comfortable at all. Well, we're not in it. Okay, whatever. This is crazy. It's out of control. Okay, let's try again. Okay, it seems to think it's 50 here, which it is, but It's a suggested a 35 because there's so much traffic, people crossing the streets and stuff. Well, good morning. I ended that other clip because we were following cars and the car generally does a pretty good job of following cars. So a couple things happened. I just, I got the newest version of the software, which is 2022 16.2. And I thought, wow, it's having a hard time this morning. I thought I'd take it through with the new software, but do it backwards and see how well it did. Um, if those first turns are any indication, not so well. Now this is a resort down here. There's lots of boat launches. And even though the speed limit's 50, you don't want to be going 50 through here. 
course, I don't know how smart it'd have to be, but eventually, if it's going to be a robo taxi, it's going to have to know these sorts of things. Um, anyway, we're going to see how it does reversing the course. And then, depending on how frustrated I am, we may try it going the other way as well. It doesn't appear to even be accounting for the turns. Let's try again. Well, that might have been me because I don't want it to go in the ditch. So I'm really on it and it's going way too fast for the turns. Okay, let's try again. Here we go. This is suggested 35, but it's not an obvious 35 sign. It's a for the next two miles 35 which I assume would be much harder to interpret, and I doubt they've gotten anywhere near close to doing those sorts of things yet. And the reason I say that is I go through a school zone, and uh, it doesn't drop for the school zone at all, much less during the hours that the school zone is in effect. So it would surprise me a lot if autopilot is actually reading these signs. See, pedestrian crossing 30 miles an hour, and there are people down here. So it's not slowing down, I'm going to slow down a bit. This is ridiculous, I'm going too fast. And that guy's letting me know it, as he should. Okay, here we go. This is 25. And it is slowing down for this one. Good, good. Is it going to make this turn? Nope, it disengaged. That was not me. I deliberately left my hands off. This is where we had trouble before. Okay, re-engage, see if it does any better this time. Nope, that was it again. Disengaging. <laughs> We've got a whole cacophony of sounds here. <coughs> okay, is it slowing down? No, not at all. And it disengaged again. Yeah, it's not happy with this at all. Okay. I'm just going to let the speed take care of it because I can't engage the steering at this point. Let's try. Here we go again. 30. Suggested. It is slowing down a bit. You know, I wonder if those yellow signs, the arrow signs, have anything to do with it. I'll try and pay attention next time. didn't do those bad. I mean, it's a little higher G loading than I'd want, but not much. Actually, not bad at all. I don't remember what's around here. Oh, yeah. We're to our sharp turns already. So if it does not, if you have to go into this slow or well, you'll be in trouble. Good. It did. It's taking us way down. So it's doing these, look at that, to 30. Let's see if it holds it at 30. Oh my gosh, pretty nice. Come on, make the turn, make the turn. Okay, it's accelerating. And we got the 15, is it gonna catch the 15? It feels like it might, it's definitely slowing. See if it takes it to 25. Hit the rumble strips, but it took it right down to 25 and held it there. Well, look at that. For some reason, it does these really sharp turns really well, but the 30 mile an hour turns in there that we started with, not so much. I don't know what to make of this. This is interesting. But I think I'll stop here and uh, reverse it and see what we get there. Okay, we got a speed limit change up here. Let's see if it accounts for that. It did. Good. And then our 15 mile an hour will be coming up here. And Unlike the very first run I showed you, we're at the 50 mile an hour speed. So it'll be interesting to see 
if it takes it into account. 15, it is definitely slowing us down. Wow, 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 wow. I like this. I don't understand why I get so confused at the, uh, the latter ones, though, the bunch of S turns we have at the end. It's handling this so well and right at 25 again. And now it's 35 suggested. Let's see if it tries to go up to 45. It does. And then we've got a 20 mile an hour here. And it's slowing me right down for that. This is incredibly good. I just don't know why it goes nuts at the, it hits the rumble stirrup again, just like it did last time, interesting. keeping my fingers crossed but I'm not hoping for much and I'll probably disengage because if it goes into a corner too fast uh, my hands are right on the wheel and I'm not going to let it do anything stupid and it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to cancel autopilot and if that is to happen again like it's happened the other two times I've gone through I'll just let speed control it I don't think well what's it doing Where's it going? Holy moly, I do not like that. <laughs> yeah. It's just because of that barrier. Okay, that was it. That was not me. Let's try again. 35, so will it take it to 45? Did it see it before the turn? Look at that. It is taking it down. You know, that was that would have been fast at 45. It took it at 40. And, okay, I am really keeping my hands on the wheel because it's been disengaging on itself. These are not bad now. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, this is obstructed by a tree, but it is 30 miles an hour here. Come on, baby. Not 50. Not 50. Okay, we'll have to read that sign when I get back. I haven't touched it yet. I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> Sound like a kid. You guys, that wasn't not bad at all. Come on, do this last one. Do this last one. Nice. Nice. Now keep it slow through here. Keep it slow. It's not going to. Yeah, if I was doing this two hours later, there'd be so much traffic here that uh, this speed would be dangerous. But my gosh, guys, it made it through those turns. I'm pretty stinking impressed. So what to make of this? You know, the beauty of software is it's replicable. Is that a word? That it does the same thing time after time if you give it the same inputs. The problem is driving has so many, many, many inputs that we can't even imagine that uh, it doesn't always duplicate itself. Man, it's doing well. So going the other way, it just blew these turns. Coming this way, it's doing great. The only thing it, I would do differently, wow, it's really doing well. The only thing I would do differently is I would slow down here through these houses and back there where there are houses back there, just because uh, of pedestrian traffic. But it's been, that last run was, except for that one corner, if I'm recalling correctly, it did the whole thing. Very impressive. Don't try this at home though. Remember, it's not designed for this. This is extreme autopilot. In any case, have a great day. Happy travels. We'll see you next time.